Well, we have one nice day, I think. So time to evaluate this Bissell Pro Heat. Will it even turn on? So one thing I have noticed is I pulled the belt access cover. Well, it's got a belt and it's, you know, eh, it probably could be replaced, but it seems to have enough uh, grip that it should be able to turn the brushes, but that's not my primary concern. So I'm using non-Bissell fluid. Oh no. So maybe it'll be a little too foamy. Don't really care. At least I'll be able to see where it's going or not going, I hope. I have that container filled with hot water and let's see what happens. Okay, this is obviously very dirty. See what happens. Wow, don't you just love tangled cords? Moment of truth. Okay, turns on. I think the brush roll is spinning. Yep. So if you could see the little red uh, spinny thing there that lets you know what the flow is, it spun for a few seconds or something and then quit. So I bet you we just have a clog somewhere. Let me try this.
<laughs> there it goes. All right, that seemed entirely too easy. So really, what I want to work on is something that's kind of cosmetic. It's just getting the spinning flow indicator to spin, but it's, it's now no longer clogged. So it passes plenty of stuff through it, although I'm getting more and more junk out as I'm clearing the whole system out. So really all we had to do was just clear it out. Now it was looking a lot worse than that this is believe it or not an improvement but uh, we'll keep cleaning it out so just to be clear what really got this machine going again was cleaning out the flow meter right here that that's all it was it was just cleaning it out so I get a lot of uh, Hoover smart wash comments about you know what did you do well you know, clean everything out. And uh, how about we just go and run a bunch of water through? So I'm going to change this from high traffic to just water rinse. And I'm going to put down a bunch of water. Because there's certainly a lot of soap in here. Now that has definitely soaked the carpet all the way through. It's my test carpet. I mean, don't normally put that much water down. Now I need to clean out this trap right here. See what's accumulating? So again, I'm just rinsing and rinsing and rinsing. Now I need to check out and see how well the hose works or doesn't work. 
So let's see, I'll set it back to high traffic and I'll switch this over to floor clean. When you do that, it actually changes a little, well, it's a plastic gate. It's supposed to be a little valve right there. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's, that's plenty. All right, let's suck it up. Yeah, it's not, that's not going very well. Have to clean that out, but flow is fine. That's that's perfectly fine. So the intake, we're gonna have to probably clean that a bit. I imagine that uh, that's clogged as well. Yeah, it should it should it should suck this down in just a few seconds, really. So we'll have to work on that. Ran a couple of gallons of water through the hose. Let's see if it made any difference. Yep. All right, that's good. All right, here we go. Yep. So the hose is now working. I'll show you the, the back here. We got some action. <laughs> All right, that's probably about as good as that's going to get. Let's see, floor cleaning. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. The only thing that's really left is to use, let's see, I think it's a Phillips. Yep, to use a Phillips screwdriver, take this front nozzle off and clean out the clean out the gunk. So, it's cleaned up about as much as it's going to get without actually resorting to a screwdriver. Bottom line is this machine does actually appear to work. And the, uh, the water pickup, well, with a lot of water on the carpet, is pretty quick. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. But, I will ask a favor of you. So, everything that you're going to see to get this machine going again has already been done. So, unlike my Hoover Smart Wash, I get constant questions like, is there anything else that can be done because I've done everything in the video and it's still not working so unfortunately this is all i had to do to get this machine running if doing all this doesn't get your machine going again 
then I guess you'd have to wait for another video in which this would get taken apart for some reason. But I don't have any reason to take it apart at this point in time. So I hope uh, you people that have uh, an older model Bissell Pro Heat enjoy it. And bottom line is to get this one going again. And remember, it was a uh, free Facebook Marketplace porch pickup. Frankly, I just had to declog it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.